Gear down for this one. We're going to show you some video that is really disturbing, distressful. Police in Hammond, Indiana, smashing a car window and using a taser on the front seat passenger. All of this just starting out from a routine traffic stop over a seat belt. What may be a little different from some other things you may have seen, two kids were in the back seat when all of this happened. And you can hear as this unfolds how traumatized they were. Have a look. Yes, my mom. No, I'm not making it worse now. I'm scared for my life. Because he just pulled a gun on us and we didn't have, we don't have a gun. So just so we know, we got, we Go got ahead. camera recording here. You're on a body mic. Go ahead. I suggest you come on out the car. Go ahead. You a white shirt? What's that? A white shirt. I'm asking for a white shirt. I don't know what's going on. I just gave him my information. I don't know what's I'm going on now. Right, right. That's what I'm... Look, who? listen, listen. That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? I don't know what's going on. I never got out of the deal from being in the side. You know what I'm saying? I never got out of the deal from being the I gave it to him. Okay. Now, he asked the man... Y'all got white shirts, y'all? The sitting beside me. He asked his ID. I got somebody in charge, y'all. He said he didn't have any ID. Well, I just gave him my information. So, they asked him, you know, and I said, I said... Y'all got my information, bro. I don't have my license. I mean, you, you, if you gonna give me a ticket, ticket for, no seat, for no seat belt. If you're gonna give me a ticket for no seat belt, right here. Just give me a ticket so I can go to the hospital because the doctor called me to tell me to come in because my mom is about to pass away. All right. So I guess he's in. The, he's looking for his his. His information in his book bag. When he go digs in his book bag, they pulls a gun out. What was the purpose of a gun? And now they asking us. Now they asking me to open my door so I can get out. I'm scared. They go, if if you can pull out a gun in front of two, it's two kids in the back seat. Door for you. If you understand. Yes. All right. No, don't mess my. Now they about to mess my. No. I'm not the operation. Now they about to mess my window. If you do that, all right. I'm not the. I'm not. I'm not the operation in this vehicle. Are you gonna open the door? Why do you say somebody's not gonna hurt you? People are getting shot by the police. disturbing on so many levels. Um, I want to bring in CNN's national correspondent, Susan Candiotti. Paul Callan and Sonny Hostin are still here as well. Fill out a little more of the backstory on this, if you would. Right. This happened September 24th, Hammond, Indiana. It's outside Chicago, Illinois. In the car, a mother, her two children in the back seat, seven-year-old daughter, 14-year-old son. He is seven. the one. Seven. Seven-year-old girl. A little seven-year-old girl. That's right. 14-year-old son. He's the one filming this from the back seat. There is an adult passenger male, that's the man that you can see sitting in the passenger side. They're stopped, as you heard, for not wearing seat belts. The issue arises when they're asking him to get out of the car and he won't do it, the police say. He, they wanted some identification. He didn't have an ID with him and they're sorting around looking for, he's looking for some other ID. This goes on, police say, for at least 13 minutes. Ultimately, you see a police officer come up, backups are called. In the meantime, the, the driver, the mother, is on the phone with 911. That's who you hear her talking to, to say, what's going on? When he refuses to get out, you finally see another officer approach with that axe, crashing the window, smashing that window, 
you, that's when you hear the children react as they do, and they tase him and finally get him out of the car. These people have now filed a lawsuit against the police department saying, uh, alleging excessive force, using the taser, re they were uh, assaulted by the police officers. Police officers say, you know, we saw him moving for something and there could have been danger can you, involved, can you give me the so we statement? had to get they, in there. They made a statement, just quickly, because I want to get uh, our lawyer's takes on it. The statement from the police department. Well, they back up their actions saying safety was at issue, but it reads in part, police officers who make legal traffic stops are allowed to ask passengers inside of a stop vehicle for identification and to request that they exit a stop vehicle for the officer's safety without a requirement of reasonable suspicion. Paul Callen, is that going to be enough when they're looking at a lawsuit for what happened? Well, this thing functions on two levels, reasonable human being and legal, okay? The cops screwed up here. I mean, come on. I mean, there are kids in the back seat. A seven-year-old. Okay, they should have handled it differently. But the law, I think, will back them. And you have to understand that... Will back them? The yes, because family. you have an obligation to produce identification. If they tell you to get out of the I'm car, sorry, get out of the car. did you say the law car. will back the family or the, the law will no, back the No, the law the will back the cops. You, They have the right to ask you to get out of the vehicle, show identification. And you know why? Cops get killed. Every day, about 50 a year get killed Sunny, in incidents like this. I have also been told as a single female driving on a road that if I see someone trying to pull me over, I have the right to continue to a populated area. Because if I am in fear, I don't have to stop on a road in the dark. Is this the same kind of fear? These people were afraid. Of course they, they were afraid. And I've got to tell you, I'm so...